and Sidney Vazan is also here. Um, they are presenting their work on MouseWhip, the multifunction library for System Veridoc. Thank you very much. Yeah. Hi, I am Deepa Palniyappan. I am working in ASFIGO, uh, which is in UK. Today I am going to talk about the MATLAB. A yeah, yeah, selection of math functions and their equivalent are implemented in math library. Yeah, various math. Okay, now you can hear. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Various mathematical models are implemented and stored as a library, and we are using it in a system lab. And we use this uh, in a various chip design verification, along with the uh, system verilog, and we are calling it as a math lab. I will start with the introduction, why we are using it, what are the topics we are going to talk about, why and how with some examples. And also I will focus on what kind of modules we have been used in various uh, data types modules in System Verilog. Usually math functions in chip designs are uh, basic, uh, uh, so, excuse me. <laughs> excuse me. Yeah, sorry. Math functions in chip designs are very popular nowadays as a fundamental chips which we look really in creative conflicts of analog, digital, statical, that we always look in the hardware and also related to AI chip designs. A math function competition dominates AI chips in biomedicals like glucose measurement, heartbeat measurement, and also we use a various mathematical modules and systems in AMS designs. A design verification team wants to task this into a massive chip design to in the combination of analog and digital to leverage this model into a system level. We are, we, to, to leverage this model, we use a functionality because of the abstractions are different and we can we reuse a SEN assessed. It's a budget constraint tools, tools and also it's a debug productively. The debuggers wants to, the debuggers tends to, one second, the, the debuggers tends to uh, edit the, uh, in a set of languages in, instead of combination or integration. A math lab is an open source library of math function that is compatible with popular system level tools called MATLAB. MATLAB has a compatible library in system Verilog as well as in VHDL, it's a lack of one-to-one -one mapping. MATLAB functions have some close matches, like we are using it in the uh, cell, seal, and the modules, abstract, etc. The MATLAB solutions are used in various state ports in intents to the match level system simulation and modules in AMS blocks, myomedicals, and in algorithm executions where we use a fintech like high frequency technology. MATLAB is a common library that we used in the system very log and also VHDL. There are a set of packages are available on the right hand side that the codes are available in the GitHub. System very log package is a perfect name for its function because it's uses like a scalar vector and matrices, whereas the matrices are early detected and the sector is and the vector is a solid state and it's reversed. System Verilog uses a class-based object-oriented content that are suitable for class-based environment. Uh, uh, example, the, the exponential and the mode functions are given. The MATLAB is equivalent in the native system languages that we used in a system Verilog and it can handle scalar. The substitute difference between the scalar and the, the subtle difference between a scalar and the MATLAB. We align a MATLAB that is 100% compatible to the MATLAB that we are using in the system very log. We have extended the MATLAB supports from scalar to vector and also to matrix. In scalar, in scalar it's much easier, whereas in the vector it's we have to, it's pretty, pretty solid and robust and it has been well tested and being used in customer designs. In system very log, there is no overloading. The same functions needed to work with various data types, we call as a parameters, plus a bunch of statical functions that we need to determine the data types, what would it look like. 
we did declare a data types in MATLAB, which is fundamentally a dynamic array in a system very log. We extend the format into 2D, 2D dynamic array. We implemented the mod, cell, ABS, fix, etc. that are shown in the right hand side and we have given a 100% compatible to the MATLAB. The MATLAB based support function naturally reuses the package function as shown in the example. In this slide it shows the MATLAB versus a plain system with log. In the right hand side you can see there is a three columns. The first column represents the input value and the second column represents the system system result and the third column represents the MATLAB. For example, when you use an exponent file and if you assign e to the power n, if, if you are given the input 1.5, the result will be for the system very large. It will be after decimal point, it's a eight digit. Whereas in MATLAB, it's like after decimal, it's called as a four digits. So it's, we are calling it as a short notion. This, this is a, this also that's a, this also it's fine, but there is a subtle changes we can do it by using a define our parameters in the MATLAB and we can support it to say 100% compatibility. There's a self check also available in the code where we used to find out whether the result we are getting it's, it's, uh, it's correct. The type breaker. Now in the type breaker we are used as a round function. The more code we write without testing, the more we path you have to check for error. In MATLAB, the type breaker round is pretty good. It supports multi uh, multiple way of testing, and also it has a set of definition MATLAB doc documentation for this. We use different types. I uh, use of ties for to test like odd or even, even plus infinitive or tie from zero. We offer here. Uh, play through or to uh, uh, option to uh, identify the uh, AMS design using this. We are using a butterfly effect in the competition instead of Lorentz equation because in the Lorentz equation was it was used to de decade decade years. But now at present we are using as a butterfly effect because it has a minor deviation tends to accumulate. After a few steps, deviation is wider. It's make it harder to track and debug and fix. When we are using an ADAC, the MATLAB models think it's one. Whereas when we use an SV model, it says zero because it's poorly tested without using a MATLAB. We also use with the low power SOC where we use PVT sensor modules. In PVT sensor module means power, voltage, and temperature. It gives and expected to the power to be down. When we use an SV model without MATLAB, it will be in a normal mode. And we are calling it as a butterfly effect. Best is to fix with U unit at a lower possible granularity. Here are the application designs that we use in the AMS designs. The band, here is the band gap that supports for the VCOs, the IDOs, and the DACs, where we, we use we offer a uh, plethora of option that is called in the AMS designs, and we also use a plus uh, digital simulation in UVM for giving the verification design along with the modules. We can here we can reuse the uh, we can reuse the system level uh, system levels as the design engineers did. We can also eliminate the license cost and also a cost saving. Hence, we use a MATLAB as a native because of it can be implemented directly without the license and it's a cost saving. We are, we are in friends to, we are aim mainly on the, we are aim highly, highly on the, on the benefits and the support of system very log in the design project and also we are, and also determine and identify the success integration in the AMS blocks. Thank you. Cool. Thank you, Deepa. Thank you.
Uh, probably I will answer yes, the so technical you. questions. So, <laughs> okay. Thank you. Yeah. I have no question, but it's very easy. We can also add on to the variation aware for typing of chips because we normally use a lot of mathematical model for chip variations for three sigma and two sigma. And now for three nanometer, we have multiple OCVs also. So that could be really an add on on that. It's a compliment, I can say. Thank you. J just maybe uh, to briefly say about the summary of the uh, slides, whether you didn't know whether you get the concept. Uh, so the idea is. Uh, for a lot of the designs, there are a lot of MATLAB models used uh, by the system designers, uh, the analog designers to model whatever designs they do. Uh, but when it gets into uh, systems verification or digital verification, we will sometimes we may not be able to directly use the MATLAB models, or they need to be remodeled or redone in the system verilog. So the idea here is to develop a package which can be just imported into the system verilog environment and use directly the code what you wrote for the MATLAB and then voila, you, you don't have, you have least effort in uh, spent less, least time spent in converting them into MATLAB and also you don't need the MATLAB license to run it. That, that's the basic idea behind this. Sorry, please. Yeah, actually I was just going to ask about exactly that thing. So if you have a MATLAB model of one of your mixed signal elements in your chip. I guess your idea is that you can quite quickly import that into your Verilog test bench. But is it, it, it seems like that would still be a non-trivial conversion because the semantics of MATLAB and system Verilog are so different. I mean, do you have some examples of how long it might take to convert a model or something? Okay, so the idea here is uh, in long term that you don't have to do any change. So we started with basic functions here which is put in the open source, which is put in the data, in the uh, GitHub. And um, uh, I think like it's the, whatever there is there already, you can go and have a look. It covers like quite a lot of functions already. The idea is it uses the same syntax and uh, the syntax is the same. Semantics, as you said, it could be a little, subtle different, but it is, uh, it takes time and probably it can be a collaboration by the contributors as well. And the goal is to, have uh, use the MATLAB as it is, MATLAB code, yeah. Okay, but what about toolboxes? Because a big benefit of MATLAB is toolboxes, like communications toolbox, for instance. And I guess those are just never going to be available, right? Because they're, they're not even written in pure MATLAB. They're kind of binary things mathless for life. Um, yeah, the, there are some, t yeah, there are tool sets which are uh, very specific to the MATLAB. The goal here is to cover just the specific parts, not the generic. MATLAB thing, which is like more general for not just for the ASIC design, but the goal here is sort of like to support the ASIC design and verification. So covering that aspect of the MATLAB. Okay, thank you. Thank you. So one key difference of hardware and and MATLAB or software is that uh, hardware can do arbitrary precision of any specific type, right? So you can have, I don't know, 13 bit floating point of your, uh, mm -hmm. you know, with your Mantisa, with your exponent, with your bias, whatever. Like you can construct new data type that does not exist on the target machine at all. And MATLAB never existed, right? Mm -hmm. So uh, do you have a, like capability to build arbitrary floating point types or? Yeah, the goal here is like to just to replicate what the MATLAB what function MATLAB is, okay. is doing. So the idea is just to use the MATLAB models which were developed at the system level design or the architecture design. So just to reuse the models as it is for the verification, that's the goal. So it should ideally behave or reflect how the MATLAB would output. So that was one of the slides which was saying that, like a lot of, there are some functions which are inherently there in system Verilog, which has a similar syntax as MATLAB, MATLAB but they would 
uh, give like more than eight digits or 10 digits. If you compare that with the MATLAB result, what you had before, it would fail uh -huh. because MATLAB was either more accurate or less accurate, but this library is targeting to have to close the gap and not using the MATLAB simulators and saving the MATLAB cost. Uh, uh, another question is about how synthesizable uh, your Verilog. So uh, can, can you just, uh, is it only for simulation or you want to put it in a PGA, ASIC, like do you provide any guidance of about area of those functions and so on? Okay, so this is targeting f for the verification. Still, that's a good point. Maybe like it's not yet explored for the synthesis or something, uh, but this could be as a potential growth area. Yeah. Because Thanks. for DSP on a FPGA, for example, typical flow, yeah, I, I crafted something in MATLAB, now I want it to run in FPG. So it would be nice to have like a, a synthesizable version of it. <laughs> and le maybe less nice, uh, you know, for verification you can write less, but uh, for synthesis you'll probably, or, or maybe say that this function take ta 10 cycles to actually compute if you want it to synthesizable, or, uh, you know. It mm -hmm. will be MATLAB equivalent, but it takes 10 cycles. Or yeah. So. yeah, as you see, like MATLAB is quite complex. Um, I mean, like it's be very difficult to have a full MATLAB language getting synthesized. Um, so here the target is more for the verification, but um, yeah, that is mo when you want to use the MATLAB code to, to the synthesis, that is more like um, high-level synthesis. It gets into that arena of high-level synthesis sort of, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is not yet explored, but yeah, the, 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 the small step is to first to have a verification and then probably yeah, that's as a good point as well. Yeah, thanks. Hmm. Okay, let's uh, thank the speakers. Thank you, Deepa. Cheers. Thank you. Nice one. Thank you. Nice. Do you need a laptop?